When I did my review of the Cherry Tigo 7 a few months back, I did mention that it didn't follow in the design language of its table mates. While the Tigo 8, the Tigo 5, and the Tigo 2 all sported that crouching tiger look, the Tigo 7 looked more like a shark with its sleek front end and its wavy front grille. Soon, Cherry Auto Philippines will bring in the all new Cherry Tigo 7 Pro, which looks more like its table mates. In this video, I'll give you an exclusive first look at the upcoming 2021 Cherry Tigo 7 Pro. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another car review. If you're new to my channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of the Reagan's Rides family. If you're my subscriber already, thank you so much for your support by watching this video. I also hope that you give it a like. Also special thanks to Cherry Auto Philippines for giving us this awesome opportunity to do this exclusive first look at the all new 2021 Cherry Tigo 7 Pro. If you have any inquiries at all for any Cherry vehicle or if you want to inquire about this gorgeous Tigo 7, you may contact the hotline that I'll put in my description below. Now what we have here is the pre-launch model of the all-new 2021 Cherry Tigo 7 Pro, which I borrowed for this shoot. Now this beauty is set to launch pretty soon and I do believe that they are now taking advanced reservations for this model. Now since this is a pre-launch model guys, we don't really have too much details yet on this vehicle. So what we can do is we can go around it, go inside it, just to see what kind of changes were made to this all-new model. Then towards the end of this video, I could probably take you on a quick spin just to see how it compares in terms of driving versus the outgoing Tigo 7. We still don't have the official pricing for this vehicle, but it should stay within the vicinity of the outgoing model, which puts it at the 1,200,000 Philippine Peso mark. That puts it squarely in the price vicinity of the Geely Cool Race Sport and the Ford Territory, and oh boy, judging by the looks of this vehicle, it's going to give those two crossovers a run for their money. Now the all-new Tigo 7 shall be called the Tigo 7 Pro in the local market, and upon looking at it guys, I must say, wow! Just wow, guys. I mean, this beauty is gorgeous. It's crazy. It's so nice. <laughs> wow. I mean, the outgoing Tigo 7 looks good in its own right, but this all new model, it's a stunner, man. Wow, this is really crazy. It loses out on those uh, front braces in the front grille, and rather, you get this large hexagonal shaped grille here with this nice jeweled design to it. It's definitely not a crouching tiger, but something that has truly blossomed, guys. I mean, wow! <laughs> the headlights are now sporty and angular, and these are LED headlights, pretty similar to the ones found in the Tigo 8. And you also get some LED DRLs here at the bottom part on your front bumper. Although I don't really know for sure if the final production model will have LED fog lights, because these are just LED DRLs on this uh, pre-launch model that I have here. Overall, when you look at this entire thing, I mean, wow, it's gorgeous, it's upscale, it's beefy. I mean, it's, it's still a compact crossover, but it exudes a mid-size crossover's presence. Wow! Now, the side profile of this Cherry Tigo 7 Pro has also been completely redesigned. And as you can see, it seems that it has grown in terms of overall dimension as well. If you look at it from the side, it looks so beefy, it looks so muscular and sporty. Now, I love that the B, the C, and the D pillars are also blacked out here, which gives the Tigo 7 Pro that nice sporty floating roof design there. And if you take your attention towards the rear quarter panel here, guys, I love how Cherry did this. They put this nice subtle kink here at the bottom part that's accentuated by this chrome garnish, and it really looks just sporty, just so elegant. And I find that this is the best angle for this all-new Tigo 7 Pro this rear quarter panel here i mean wow guys i mean it's really gorgeous and especially if you get it in this nice cherry red color you'll see how the black and the chrome pieces all come together and make it all truly pop now for your wheels and tires i'm glad that cherry auto still kept it at 18 inches and that's actually a good thing 
Now the rear end has also been completely redesigned. I love that the LED taillights here are now a different design from the outgoing model and the fact that your LED light here extends all the way down to the center logo which forms your center line. It looks pretty similar to the Tiggo 8 Lux EX but the execution here in the Tiggo 7 Pro is sportier all the way down to this twin exhaust pipe garnishes that we have on the rear bumper. Now these are not functioning twin exhaust pipes but this is still the pre-launch model so I still don't know if the final production model will have functioning twin exhaust pipes. Don't get your hopes up though guys. Now when you pop open the lift gate you'll see that this pre-launch unit still has a manual lift gate. I do believe that the final production units will have a power lift gate there and when you see the the trunk of this Tiggo 7 Pro, you'll see that it's actually bigger than the trunk of the outgoing Tiggo 7. We still don't have the exact specs yet as to the trunk capacity of this baby, so you might as well subscribe to Reagan's Rides and wait for my full-blown in-depth car review of this Cherry Tiggo 7 Pro when it comes out. Now luckily we have the engine specs for this Tiggo 7 Pro and I could share that with you in this preview video. Now the first thing you'll notice when you pop open the hood is that you've got a couple of gas struts here for an automatic hood opening. That's something that you don't even see in a Tiggo 8 Lux EX. The second thing that you'll notice is you've got this massive engine cover that's hiding the motor. It's nowhere to be found really. Now underneath this engine cover, the engine is still the same at a 1.5 liter turbo petrol four-cylinder motor that's good for 145 horses, which is pretty similar to the outgoing model. However, the torque figures for the Tiggo 7 Pro has been massaged to 230 newton meters, which is 20 newton meters more than the outgoing model at 210. Now another big difference that you can get here is the transmission has been changed to a CVT rather than a dual clutch transmission. Now that should make for a smoother drive in stop and go traffic but when it comes to spirited driving well we'll see the, what type of performance we can expect a little bit later on. Now arguably the biggest change in the Tiggo 7 Pro from the outgoing model is in the interior and I am liking what I'm seeing guys. You get a lot of nice sporty accents here and there although the whole cockpit area pretty much looks like the Tiggo 8 Lux EX but a little bit sportier. So I think that Cherry Auto is positioning the Tiggo 7 Pro as a sporty Tiggo while the Tiggo 8 is more of the luxury Tiggo. Now this Tiggo 7 Pro has this nice leather wrap steering wheel and it's good that it also has a flat bottom now for that added sporty flavor. I also like that the instrument gauges are now a full L LED design similar to the ones found in the Tiggo 5 and the Tiggo 8 Lux EX. Although this is a little bit sportier because you don't get those circular things for your fuel and for your engine temperature. Now the seats are also still the same seats. You've got a nice good support here. You got good bolstering on the sides and it's still wrapped in leather and I love that they also thrown in some red stitching and red piping in the center of the seat. So that still contributes to that sporty flavor of this Tiggo 7 Pro. The infotainment system, the climate control system, the switch gear, even the layout of the entire dashboard, it's pretty much the Tiggo 8 Lux EX, except it's a lot more sporty. However, the infotainment system shows you that we only have a reverse camera here, but this is a pre-launch unit, guys. So the final production units will have a 360 degree view camera or so I'm told. So that's also an awesome value. Now the climate control system here is also a manual climate control system, but once again, it's a pre-launch unit. So the final production units should have a fully automatic climate control system. And I do believe that the rear passengers would not only get AC vents, but they'll also get their own AC or climate control system controls at the back. So that would probably mean that the Tiggo 7 Pro would also have a triple zone climate control system. Now that would be pretty awesome. Now one of the biggest changes that I've seen here in the Tiggo 7 Pro is the joy the joystick. Now it's actually not joystick. It's a gear shifter that looks like a joystick. It's actually an electronic joystick uh, that is pretty similar to some offerings from Europe. There's also a provision here for a wireless charging area for compatible phones, but this being a pre-launch unit, it still doesn't have that, although the final units will definitely have wireless charging capability. You still get that nice panoramic sunroof here, similar to the ones found in the outgoing Tiggo 7. So that would mean that this is still an awesome value, especially if this Tiggo 7 Pro comes in at almost the same price or near, or, you know, near the price point of the outgoing Tiggo 7 model. So overall guys, when I look at this entire cockpit, I mean, I am really liking what I'm seeing. I love how Cherry Auto managed to design this with this nice anodized 
aluminum finish here on the dashboard with a nice purple mood lighting and you've got this red leather stitching here at the bottom part of your middle dashboard in the door panels i mean this is truly upscale yet sporty at the same time this is one of the most fantastic cockpits that i've ever seen in any of the cars that i've reviewed and considering this is still a pre-launch unit i mean imagine that i couldn't wait to see the full-blown production units of these tigo 7 pros and give it a full-blown in-depth car review but for the meantime guys while i still have this unit let's go out on the road for a quick spin just to see what kind of driving characteristics this tigo 7 pro has so let's go for the drive right now Now I'm quite lucky to take this pre-launch Tigo 7 Pro out for a quick spin guys so that we'll have an initial impression or idea how this baby would drive and perform on the road. Now just like the Tigo 8, this Tigo 7 also has an eco and a sport mode. It doesn't have an in-between mode like a normal mode which I do hope to see in the final production model although let's not get our hopes up because well uh, it seems that Cherry Auto's interpretation of drive modes is just limited to eco and sport mode. Now having said that guys though, I'm in eco mode right now and I must say the eco mode of this baby is perfectly livable. It doesn't really punish you too much when it comes to the response and it's it pretty much drives like a regular normal mode of any other vehicle out there. So that's actually a good um, first impression already. However, when we put it in sport mode, now I'm in sport mode, wow, yeah. You see, the response is immediate when you're in sport mode, guys. I mean, it's pretty cool. Considering that this is a CVT and no longer a DCT transmission, I like that the tuning of the CVT transmission is probably the best one that I've ever encountered. Even better than the one that I've encountered in the Ford Territory CVT. That, that's pretty crazy, guys. You all know how I hate CVT transmissions, but the CVT that's found in this Tigo 7 Pro, let's put the hammer down. See, response is immediate. I don't feel that rubber band effect, and I do hope that the final production models would have the same kind of transmission tuning that we have in this pre-launch model. I mean, this is pretty much perfect already in my book. You don't get a rubber band effect there. You don't get that CVT drone. It feels like I'm driving an actual six-speed automatic transmission, believe it or not. I mean, that is pretty crazy. Now, I couldn't wait until I get my hands on a full production model of this Tigo 7 Pro so that I could give you a full-blown driving impression of this baby. But then, we'll just have to wait until, well, uh, after the official launch. I mean, come on, guys. Patience is a virtue and we're actually quite lucky to have this opportunity to drive this baby right now for a quick spin but yeah overall guys the drive impression of this thing me likey me likey a lot man wow <laughs> There you have it folks, that's a preview of the all new 2021 Cherry Tigo 7 Pro. If Cherry Auto Philippines manages to price this close to the outgoing model and give it the same phenomenal warranty and after sales service and support, then they have a fantastic contender in the compact crossover segment. Watch out for my full blown review and drive impressions of this baby once it officially launches. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and watch my other videos. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching.